Zimbabweans in colonial times militarily refused subjugation by British colonialism and were defeated on the battlefield during the first Chimurengwa. The second Chimurenga saw colonialism being defeated also on the battlefield. The president, Comrade Emerson Dambuzo Mnangagwa, said his attendance of the African Green Revolution Forum Summit held in Kigali, Rwanda, at the invitation of the organization, saw four heads of state in attendance. We should uh, migrate from dependency from outside Africa in relation to food and fuel and the gas security for the continent. So a few countries were selected to um, participate um, this conference. And these countries were uh, Rwanda itself as the host, the president of Niger was there, Tanzania did not come but ought to have come, Malawi, and Zimbabwe was the principal uh, spokesperson to lead the discussion on uh, the modernization of agriculture. Uh, we were selected, there was consensus by the uh, forum that we need to hear Zimbabwe on the issue of the modernization of agriculture uh, in, uh, in Africa. And we're happy that uh, we've been recognized that uh, we are doing uh, strides, successful strides in this direction as a country. So I believe that we discharged our, our duty with regard to that issue. On his meeting of Tony Blair, the former British Prime Minister, the president said, we pride ourselves as a solid people. We then met um, John Blair. Yeah. Uh, I think initially there was some uh, um, the chemistry between me and him was not excellent, but in, uh, after some contact, the chemistry improved, and we have agreed that uh, we should do further discussions in, in Egypt. He, 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 uh, he accepts that the past is the past. We cannot live in the past. We should now look into the future and see how we can move better in the future. I was anxious to show him that despite sanctions, we are very solid. And I think on his part, he was um, anxious to show that despite the past mistakes, he is still willing to reconcile for the future. Maybe Tony Blair met his Damascene moment in Kigali, Rwanda, over the Zimbabwe issue. It is said Zimbabwe has shown the world that respect of independent-minded leaders is a given, and big powers have no time for cowards or quislings. That adage seems to be at a play here. Meanwhile, the president, Comrade Emerson Dambuzo Mnangagwa, and his delegation arrived back home. He was welcomed by the vice president, general retired Dr. Constantino Guverciwenga, government ministers, senior government officials, and service chiefs at the Robert Gabriel Mugabe International Airport. Ruben Barwe, CBC News, Harare.